last season. And the main news again. The Prime Minister has warned that people shouldn't expect too much of the Earth Summit in Rio. And a top policewoman who claims she's the victim of sex discrimination says she suffered years of misery under her former chief constable. And that's the early evening news. Till 5.40 tomorrow. Bye-bye. British weather typically swinging from one extreme to another. After the warmest May since 1833, the first day of June brought heavy rain, thunderstorms, and even some flooding in places. This is how things look from satellite at around breakfast time this morning. Three basic types of weather across Britain today. An old weather front out to the west there, which is actually moving away from us for a change. And there was some sunshine over Northern Ireland and Scotland. You can see breaks in the cloud there. That didn't last very long, though. This is the main area of weather we've been watching today. Thundery cloud there. If we look inside the cloud using the weather radar, you can see that even at breakfast time this morning, there was some torrential rain around in the south, and that's been moving steadily, slowly, but steadily north and west through the day, up across Wales, it's heading into Northern Ireland, and those showers will come across Northern England, and eventually into Scotland tonight, with clearer, at least drier weather coming behind it. Let's come back to tonight then in more detail. Well, still a lot of showers around at the moment, but they are gradually moving away northwards. They'll finish the night up over Scotland and Northern Ireland. Behind it, well, the shower's dying out, very misty indeed, some very dense fog to watch out for on the roads both tonight and at first tomorrow morning too. Tomorrow's chart then looking something like this, a grey, murky start to the day. Difficult driving conditions, so do take extra care in the morning, some of this fog will be very dense. We'll still have the showers over Scotland, the last of today's rain really, but then as the sun comes through, melting away some of that fog, showers will start again over England and Wales. Not as many as today, but still one or two quite heavy ones. Temperatures tomorrow, we're well, feeling very warm again in that muggy air, 21 is about 70, more typically around 18, I think, for the rest of us. Now let's look a little further ahead, it's a very unsettled week, little point in trying to be too clever, I think, but uh, the chart for Wednesday, for instance, very unsettled indeed. The trend towards the end of the week is for slightly better weather coming up from the south and west. So there you are, thundery showers again tomorrow, staying very warm. Here's a summary. Good evening, a look ahead to Central New South. Tonight, a film recreating the murder of Oxford student Rachel McLean has come under attack. Her family says the film, which portrays the hunt for her killer, was made without their consent. Their MP has called it ghoulish. Also tonight, dentists claim that government plans to cut their NHS fees will force them into private practice. And the baby, who weighed just over one pound at birth, celebrates her first birthday. We'll be back at 6.25. Next on Central, it's official. Lucinda's engaged. In home and away.